Welcome back to Yahoo Finance Live. Starbucks strikes back. The coffee chain has filed complaints with the National Labor Relations Board accusing the newly formed workers union of breaking federal labor law. Let's take a closer look at the latest on unionization efforts at Starbucks. Danny Romero is here. Danny, uh, you've been tracking this story for us uh, from day one. What's the latest? Yeah, that's right, Brian. Tensions are escalating between the coffee giant and pro-union employees. Yesterday, Starbucks filed two unfair labor practices against Workers United, the union representing baristas across the country. This is the first time the coffee giant has done this. In the filing, the company is alleging that pro-union employees are bullying and intimidating staff who don't align with union goals, which breaks federal law. One charge is at a store in Denver, Colorado, and the second is at a store in Phoenix, Arizona, where two other unfair labor practice charges have been filed by pro-union employees, where they allege that union busting activity has happened at that store. I spoke with the head of global communications at Starbucks, AJ Jones, and he tells me that the company had to intervene after pro-union employees were allegedly threatening the life livelihood and physical well-being of staff. Now, I reached out to Workers United for comment, and they sent us this statement that reads, Starbucks is getting desperate as it loses this war in battle after battle because we, the Starbucks partners, continue to organize and fight for a real voice within the company. These charges are just the latest example of that desperation. Now, Workers United has helped baristas file nearly a hundred unfair labor practices against Starbucks amid efforts to unionize and so far to date, more than 200 stores of the nearly 9,000 um, Starbucks-owned stores have filed for a petition to unionize. Of those stores, more than 20 stores have voted um, in favor of unionization, while two stores have voted against it. Now, again, it's still unclear what would happen if the judge rules in favor um, of Starbucks in this complaint. Brian? Brian? 